here's what we're doing today. We're going to take these props. This is a APC plastic prop, label number one. I'm going to go through six of them and see what their ounces are. We got an ice data logger in there, so we'll see what amps and RPM, if there's any difference there. And the biggest thing I'm checking is to see if this two and a half layer prop uh, does better than the other props, which are just two layers and cold layups. And I heated the silicone in this prop too, so it heat cured. And it's two and a half layers. The center layers only runs up about so far, and then it tapers down. You know, this area right here is two layers wide, and then it tapers up here, stops right about there. So we're gonna see if that helped anything. Uh, got me more thrust. Got me any closer. So we're gonna do the plastic one first. Label number one. We can go through it, write it all down. I'm gonna make another prop, try to make it three full layers and see if that helps. See where I'm going with this. So there's that, here we go. I'm gonna zoom it in on the scale so we can see what we're getting. All right. One pound four, one pound five ounces. So let's see what number two does. Number two is the two and a half layers heat cured prop. Next prop. Zero on the scale, that's zero. One pound, one ounce. So three ounces lighter. I've got one of these wing shadow things you put on there, little torpedo tubes that majors the speed. I'm going to try to do that with all these props and just try to get all the data on them I can. I'm just writing it up. So we're doing moving on to number three. Hey, Paul. So the rest of these props, two layers, cold layup. No heat added. Scale zero. Call out 1.8. Was on the high side. To be in the point eight. So considerably less, that's 1.8, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, Three ounces less than the two and a half layer. 1.8. This is the B1B man prop, one of them. Put stickers on it before I Injected the epoxy. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it. Zero the scale. Right there. <laughs> Call that one one point eight as well. That was one one point eight two five and the last one was 1.875. So number four. The stickers on it. I know that River City Graphics guy Bob's been talking about. Make me some stickers off Corel Draw. Send him over the file. 
and I'll call it Carbon Fiber Creations. If I ever get these ones to push harder on a static test, if they go faster, I don't care how hard they push. We'll zero that out. Or if they handle more RPM than the plastic one, I'll be happy. Zero it out with the button. That's 1.12. That one's kicking butt. 1.12. That's pretty much 1.9. It's 1.15 ounces. The APC. My best prop was this one. It was a two layer cold, cold dry and it was pushing 1.12 ounces so that's about three short. So that's that one, three ounces short. And then we got this one here. Number three is 1.8 ounces. Number four is 1.8. Number two, which is a two and a half layer prop, <clears throat> is 1.10 ounces. So that's about five short. And then number six is 1.8. So on average, this is better doing the two and a half layer. Now why this one is faster, I don't know. This is a two layer. Uh, we'll check the weights. So far on average, the two layers were two grams lighter than this. And this one was one gram lighter before I balanced it off the re-weigh re it. So that's where I, what I'm doing. I'm just going to test them out, get their weights. I'm going to make another one with three layers. If it increases how much it pushes, then I'm good. So that's the next thing I'm going to do, I'll weigh them all and then I'll put that wing shadow device on there and I'll run them all and get their speed on that. And if these are faster and don't push as hard, I think that's what I'm going to use. So we'll see. So far, first one I made, which is broke now, was 11 miles an hour faster than this downwind and upwind it was only two to three miles an hour faster but how hard it pushed on a scale I don't know I broke it before I could do that so that's where we're at we'll show you some of that corral draw we're gonna trace out these plans and so that the laser cutter cuts it all smooth I'll show you how to do that corral draw and it's like seventy dollar program on eBay and uh, you can they can make those plans and send them to PlastiCare, email it to them, and they can run it on their laser cutter and cut it for machine time only, 60 an hour. So you'd have to melt them the balsa wood or whatever. And so we'll show you that for the P, P59 I'm going to build next. And then I got this little styrofoam squall, the little carbon Kevlar on the bottom to. Uh, it's a skid lander, you know, you just toss it, but it's got that thrust vectoring on the back of it. Rotor elevator, hooked up, delta wing style. I guess it's pretty fun to fly, so we're going to put that together. Maybe fly it this weekend, see how fun it is. So that's all I got right now, and uh, we'll be back with Corel Draw next and some of the cruise missile. I'll show you where I'm getting on that. I got the mold all taken apart. and and uh, foamed up you got the inside right in there looks kind of rough there's some holes a couple little air pockets for the most part though it's all pretty good I gotta take carried it with me an 18 wheeler for the weekend went up to the parents house so that's that that's a uh, Styrofoam. It is, like that guy said, shrinking. 
pulling on my mold a little. So it's not a big deal. I don't think I can clamp it together. You know, you can you can't see any light through it, but if I put a little weight on it, fix that right up. So yeah, that's that. Got them all there. So we'll be laying that up soon and making the inner parts, the release mechanism, the wing mechanism, and put two servos in it and go glide it around. Get that nailed and put a EDF in it and go fly it around maybe. We'll see. Could be another failure, who knows. But I learned a lot doing it, so. My thanks goes out to Bob in the shop. Thanks for showing me all this stuff. It's awesome.